Hey everyone, it's the Toy Enhancer bringing you another G.I. Joe Classified series. This time we're going to take a look at Shockwave. Nice. I was uh, excited to get him. Um, as you can see from the picture, he always remind me of Beachhead as a kid. Um, because they had that mask that pulled over their face and you never really saw them. So that was a cool, a cool part about, uh, Shockwave that I like, cause I, I was a big Beachhead fan growing up and, um, his vintage, uh, release was back in 1988. He was like a weapon specialist. Um, that's when he first hit the scene and came out on, uh, G.I. Joe, a real American hero. So, um, Shockwave, let's see. He's number 105 in the line. Artwork is looking nice and clean. My box is a little beat up. I did receive this um, from Amazon. So, that's who... Who delivered? I'm a little late with it. It's looking good. All right, we're about to bust this open, but uh, if you stick around to the end, we will do a vintage comparison and uh, see what the old Shockwave used to look like. Let's get them busted open. And if you haven't done so already, now's a good time to give a like, give a share, subscribe, follow me for future reviews. We'll get Shockwave out of his cardboard box. All right. So here's what he's looking like. Fresh out the box. Everything's looking intact. I'm uh I'm digging the blue that they used. Um what when it's right here in front of me, I thought it would I thought I wouldn't like the blue that that, that was on the render now that I'm seeing it and I'm, and I'm sure it it's different on camera, but now that I have this character in hand, the blue looks amazing. We're going to go ahead and pop them out. Just going to bust these tabs real quick. Alright, we're going to take a look at the artwork. That's the black and white. And uh, I have a video where I, I cut all these out. I know I have a few more to put on. That's why I, I left room. But we went ahead and made a video of a big collage that we did. You guys can uh, look through my shorts on the, uh, on the uh, channel there. And I'm sure you'll come across it. You can see where... We put a nice collage together for you guys. Because everyone talks about doing something with these. Well, I'm here to tell you, I, I did something. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at Shockwave. Here he is. Fresh out the box. You can see why uh, him and Beachhead favor the ski mask look. Cool. That's what we'll call it. Best way to describe it. Everyone um, was complaining about him having shotgun shells and and um, stuff like that, and not actually having a shotgun. So he's a little 
feels just a, a little loosey goosey. Just notice that. Let's bend them up a little bit. While we're moving them around. I don't think those are the new shoulders. Maybe, yeah, they, yeah, they are. Okay. All right. So he's looking good. I love the urban camouflage. Um, even though it is blue, you know that's that works. All right. Let's see, I'm sure he will if I just get his ankles a little. Yeah, that one's tight for sure. All right, Shockwave. So he should stand relatively easy. So this is his locker. And he's number 105 in the line. Let's bust it open and I'm excited to, uh, to see what they gave us because I, I, I've looked at it several times on the box but I haven't really studied it. So Hasbro, don't fail me now. Lord, please give me straight weapons. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna go right for the the baton. So this is a fixed handled baton. Um, it's a little bit crooked, but you know we can. I'm sure I can heat it up and adjust it. <clears throat> it's um, it's not as rubbery as I thought it would be. So I, I should definitely be able to straighten it up. And, but yeah, that's a just a fixed. Handled baton, Billy Club, um, God, they call them so many different things. Anyways, one thing's for sure, it delivers an ass whooping. That's for sure. Broken ribs, all that junk. You do not want to mess with somebody with a baton. Alright, let's look at these. Man, they gave us magazines. For these, I'm about to show you guys these. These Uzis, and the magazine fits really tight. It's tight. But yeah, we got these little Uzis, right? Because I guess that's what they wanted to give them. She gave him a shotgun with all the shells and stuff on his vest. So we got two of those. Two Uzis with the mags, right? So he can get, get gangster one for each hand. I like the Baroness. Okay. Got a knife. Kniff. This is actually a better looking knife than what I've seen recently bam goes right there gotta love that it's looking good man um let's see what else we got oh there's another knife okay and for anyone that doesn't know what's on the end of that that is a skinning hook and um, that's best to uh, run down the, the belly side of your game, whatever it may be, deer, fish. And it helps uh, cut that first layer of skin so you can get down and um, just gut, to gut the animal. So that's a good way to run a skinner down. You'd hook that hook in there and run it down the skin until, until you open it up all nice without uh, damaging any of the guts and ruining any of your meat, in case anyone didn't know. <laughs> All right, he comes with his hat. Gotta have that, cause that's what he wore, man. That's what he wore 
all the time. Nice. That's the shot way though now. Okay, and then this. This is a new element. I don't re ever remember him coming with like a, a shield. You know, and this is like a just an armored shield that he would clip into his his hand. His arm. Kind of like something the police would carry. But it looks like definitely more high grade. It has some lights on it. But yeah. That's something new. Something new. Alright. So I'm gonna show you guys the vintage um shockwave. And I don't have his weapons, but he came with like an Uzi um, type gun. Okay, and he came with a backpack and a big knife and a, a larger handgun. Okay, and I don't have any of his uh, weapons, but I do have the character, and we'll uh, we'll bring them in together. So you can see the everything that Hasbro you know, emulated. He did have a knife on his chest. Of course, you couldn't pull it out. Um, you know, he did have guns holstered there, but, you know, um, Hasbro kind of switched it up, and we got two Uzis now. But, that's cool. I like the way they look. I'm down with the little Uzis. He had a, the vintage one had a gun that was similar to, like, uh, Duke's gun, Duke and Stalker. If that'll that'll give you a reference to what what it was like. I do like. I'll tell you what. On this six-inch version, I do like all the detail that they put into these boots, shin guards, um, whatever they may be. I, I love the way that looks. Oh, okay. And he's he's got another. I didn't notice that. He's got another sheath on his boot. For the Skinner knife. Nice. But yeah, that's a vintage to the 6 inch comparison. So you guys can see like how similar they, they really are. Nice job, Hasbro. I love the Shockwave. I guess as uh, you can kind of see like from the vintage to this guy how he's just a little bit darker the six inches darker than the, the smaller one and uh i like that because i was expecting it to be that baby baby blue you know and they they darkened the tone up so and it, again it might be hard to see with all the lighting and the camera but um i'm really happy with the color that he is i like him he feels real good um of course you're not going to have no app crunch or anything because he does have a bulky vest on but that's part of him, so he wouldn't be shockwave without that vest. So, no complaints in the articulation department. And uh, I'm really happy with him. So, hey, if you guys haven't done so already, please give me a like and subscribe and follow me for future classified reviews. And uh, if you haven't done so already, we're having a uh, G.I. Joe classified figure giveaway where i'm going to give away a entire case of gi joe's all you have to do is enter an idea for a diorama that you want me to build and then you're automatically entered the drawing is going to be christmas morning december 25th so december 25th that morning we're going to announce the winner and um the best idea is the is going to be the winner and they're going to win a whole case of G.I. Joe classified. So I hope you enjoyed the review, everyone. And until next time, enjoy.